So a new study seems to indicate that there is no limit to how much protein your body can use in one meal. Right, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. It's Coach Mike from Soul Town. Today we're gonna to talk about this latest study. So this new study that just came out seems to have totally debunked the long-standing gym bro myth that your body can only handle 30 grams of protein in one meal. All right, so the name of the study, the title is The Anabolic Response to Protein Ingestion During Recovery from Exercise Has No Upper Limit in Magnitude and Duration in Vivo in Humans. So right off the bat, that's flawed because it says has no upper limit, but yet they did not test beyond 100 grams. So it should say no upper limit up to 100 grams because we really don't know beyond that what would happen because they didn't test for that. So like I always do with these studies, I wanna break them down a little bit to the point where I can see what elements of it are actually practically applicable. Like what out of this study will change the way that I train or eat or the way that I approach training other people and their nutrition. So in this study, they gave participants 100 grams of milk protein post-workout. And then they looked at blood concentrations of amino acids, proteins, up to 12 hours postprandial, so after eating. What they saw in the study is that blood concentrations of amino acids remained elevated even up to 12 hours after eating. It also showed that there was no excess oxidation of those amino acids, meaning you were not pissing them out. Those amino acids were actively in muscle, able to contribute to muscle building protein synthesis. All right, we can see some of these little charts right here showing amino acid blood concentrations at four, eight, and 12 hours after eating you can see that they remain elevated throughout the duration. All right, now this is a lot of protein. This is like eating about 16 to 17 eggs or two really large chicken breasts. Now this study has huge implications, okay? What it is basically saying is that meal frequency is not as important as we thought it was. Like we've all been taught you have to eat five to seven times a day, you know, 30, 40 grams of protein per meal. But this seems to indicate that you could probably get away with eating once or twice a day. Um, and all that really matters is that you're getting a total amount of protein that's adequate for you to build muscle. So if I eat two meals with 100 grams of protein each, it could be roughly equivalent to me eating, you know, five meals with 40 grams of protein each. I'm still getting 200 grams of protein. It's just spread out differently throughout the day. Now, while that seems to be true, there's a couple things I would like to see before I go and dramatically change my eating habits. Number one, the study did not actually look at whether or not someone eating this way would actually build muscle compared to someone eating six or seven times a day. Theoretically, it sounds like they might, but we really don't know that for sure. So I think a good study to do in the future would be to have a couple groups, one eating one really large meal every day with like 100, 150 grams of protein, and another group splitting their meals up between four or five meals, both performing the same workout plan and seeing the differences between the groups and how much uh, hypertrophy happens between the groups. There's other interesting things that I could see in some of the graphs, like insulin, for example, a very anabolic hormone, um, does not remain elevated for 12 hours, which is probably a good thing, but in insulin is an anabolic hormone, so maybe eating more frequent meals and more frequently elevating insulin could potentially lead to more muscle growth. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's one of probably like a hundred different factors that will need to be looked at. So at the end of the day, I think this study is good news for people who are into intermittent fasting or you know an OMAD style lifting one meal a day. It seems to indicate that you can at least keep your amino acid levels elevated without eating frequently throughout the day. It remains to be seen if you know actual hypertrophy will be influenced by eating that way. But for now, I think this is a really good sign for people who like to eat that way. And it makes me a little more comfortable eating less frequently seeing the results from this study. So as always, guys, I'm trying to keep my videos nice and short. I know some of us have short attention spans. So if you appreciate that, give me a subscribe, drop a comment. That helps a lot, too. And let me know what you guys want to hear about in the future. And I will do my best. Thanks for watching.